Hey VC, how you doing? Good to see you, each and every one of you today. Thanks for stopping by, good to see you. I'm back a little bit further, because <laughs> today we're talking about the Beatles and BBC. So that's what we're talking about today. Years ago, the only way you could get the Beatles on BBC was stuff like this. This is a CD set of the Beatles. And this is pretty thick, actually. That's 12 CDs. And this was the only way for the longest time, and I've got a bunch of vinyl as well, but this was the only way you could get the Beatles of BBC. And then they started doing separate compilations. They did ones like this one, which was a good one. And this had a lot of radio and a lot of good airplay and good tracks on that as well. This was really terrific. Enjoyed this one a lot. And if you're interested in looking for more good ones, I recommend this Beetle book by Beetle Bread. <laughs> this is a great book. And then I'm showing you, showing you this one down here. This one, which is that one. This is a great book for a lot of unauthorized uh, Beatle albums. And this has got pages. I'm looking at it instead of you. It's just got pages and pages of, of Beatle-y stuff. As you can see there. Um, so yeah, this was the only way we could get BBC stuff. And it was, it was enjoyable. The sound quality wasn't the greatest. But for collectors, it was still pretty good. Had some... A lot of fun stuff but then there were rumors of something happening rumors of different things that were changing so there was talk of a Beatles new CD coming out set that over there I couldn't I couldn't get that right so there was talk of a new CD and this is how it started on the Beatles CD on December 5th 1994 yes the whole world changed everything changed in in the community of collecting because this came out and this is how the beginning of this cd started and this was great i'm ringo and i play the drums hey well i'm paul and i play the uh uh bass i'm george and i play a guitar I'm John and I too play guitar. Sometimes I play the fool. Yep, that's what we were waiting for. And here's a ad talking about this is coming up for the Beatles Beatles Live at the BBC. For the first time, we got a brand new Beatles album. And it wasn't yeah, we had albums in the past, but they were compilations and greatest hits or love songs or ballads or B-sides or D-sides or, you know, things like that. But, so the album came out. And for my town, it was a midnight sale. So you could, you could get the Beatles live at the BBC at midnight. And the crowds were horrendous. And this is what we stood in line for to buy was this Beatles live at the BBC. This was terrific. I couldn't believe that we finally got something that was brand new and exciting fun. This was a two CD set. Came with a terrific booklet as well. CDs out because I, I played that for you just a few minutes ago. Um, it just had terrific pictures. I'm sure a lot of you have seen this. If you don't have the Beatles live at the BBC, I highly recommend you pick it up. It's one of those, it's just, it's, as I say, it's, uh, Fab Beatles. But you got a nice thick book. That was terrific fun. Terrific fun. Like I said, I stood in line at midnight to pick up my copy of the BBC. 
And for the first time also, it was a big deal because there was a lot of stuff. Inside, you got one of these, which was an order form for absolutely Beatles merchandise. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So you could buy Beatles merchandise. And that was just unreal to think that here they are. They're putting out um, merchandising as well. Then this is a slimline copy. Let's see, it's different than the uh, other one. Actually, I think this might be a UK CD. Like I said, merchandising came with it. As you can see behind me is uh, the Beatles. And this is a lithograph that I bought. This was a limited edition. They, I forgot how many they printed, like some strange, bizarre number. It's like million something. And my number is 1,605, you know, just a bunch of numbers. But anyway, it's, it's over 1,000. But I'm happy to get that. So that's why this camera's back further is because I'm showing you the uh, live at the BBC picture. Next up, I've got the CD, which is still sealed with the sticker. Bought that originally when it came out. Just kind of showing you different stuff. Kind of getting you in the mood for Beatles Live at the BBC to maybe go back and re-watch it. The uh, videos that were put out for that or the CDs. You want to go get the CDs and do that? Then the bootleggers jumped in and they did their copy, Beatles Live at the BBC. And this had different takes and different clips and all that kind of stuff than the actual CD itself. And like I said, a lot of things came in. Even at that time, we got price guides, Beatles price guide books. And in the back of the book, here we go. Here's Beatles Live at the BBC. So they're talking about that even in price guide books. So that was kind of fun to finally see something in a book that was pertaining to something that I just bought at that time. You know, I didn't buy Meet the Beatles and all that when it came out. So that was kind of neat. Next up is this. And this is the Beatles Live at the BBC this is the press kit. So there was tons of TV stuff. I will say that they really, really promoted this album well. But this is the BBC press kit that they showed on TV. There's just tons of stuff on here. I wish I could have shown you some of the clips that are on here. It's uh, Baby It's You was one of the promo videos, which was fantastic. If you didn't see that video, um, look it up on YouTube. You, you certainly can find it on there. But uh, this was a terrific, terrific press kit. There was stuff like on Entertainment Tonight, Access Hollywood, E! News Daily. Um, I just, I can't think anymore just off the top of my head. But there were a lot of TV shows. But this was the press kit. And this had um, the actual press kit itself, which was given out to the TV stations to show of Ringo and Paul talking about the BBC and clips of John talking um, on the BBC as well. And that's really neat. That's well over an hour of extremely rare footage and them talking and all that kind of neat stuff. Um, and then my next DVD. I put all these DVDs in my slim, in these slim lines. I took them all out of the cases uh, that were done because I have so many. I couldn't fit DVD, actual DVD cases. And there's all the BBC stuff on that as well. If you want, I'll let you pause on your own. You can kind of watch that on your self. Take a look at that. But I've got, like I said, I've got the lava lamp for kind of setting the mood. <laughs> Fun. And then we got also, they re like I said, they released a lot of merchandise, a lot of stuff on the BBC. And another thing that they released was this. Get the glare out. And this was a 45. Here's the back. Like I said, the 45. Isn't that cool? And this is the American 45. 
And this was pretty, pretty cool to be, to be buying a Beatles record when it came out. And for me, it's kind of a memory thing too. You know, I, I've talked to other people and say, oh yes, I remember when Sgt. Pepper came out and buying it in the store and, and the excitement and the joy of, of listening to Pepper for the first time. Well, that's kind of the way it is for me for the BBC because for the first time I'm buying this I do remember buying solo Beatles. A lot of Beatle albums came out solo-wise, but this was an actual Beatles album. So my chance of buying a Beatles album was really pretty terrific. Okay, I just showed you this, but this is it again. And this is, I can get it out. Same song, same backing and all that kind of stuff. This is the BBC as we were doing, Baby It's You, which they heavily promoted this. They even played this on the radio, local radio station. I was like, oh my gosh, Beatles on local radio saying, hey, we've got a new song. And it was, it was just great, just great. And this is my UK 45 of the same song that I just showed you. I showed you. And that was neat. Like I said, this is great. Great, great, great. Even the sound quality when they remixed this was a little bit better. It wasn't terrific. It wasn't absolutely the best, but it was also not taken from the greatest sources anyway. But it still was a lot of fun to hear something new and exciting. And I've got this, which is a Beatles BBC. This is a promo. And this is Baby It's You. This just came in a cardboard form, and then there's the CD as well. But that was a really cool thing to get. Yeah, I'm kind of zooming in on that so you can see that a little better. But that was really cool. Really enjoyed... No, well, I mean to drop it that loud. And then my local radio station had a promotion thing going. If uh, you win, they had three different copies of a picture that you could win. But, you know, you didn't get a choice if you just answered the Beatle trivia question. And, you know, I don't even remember what the trivia question was. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? I mean, here it is. It's 2017, and that was back in 94, and, and I should know. But I really don't remember what it was. But anyway, Beatle Brad, that's me right here, I won this. And this is a limited edition Beatles lithograph. And so I, I got it framed and I did all of that. But isn't that a neat picture? I know a lot of you have seen that picture. It's really kind of neat. But I, I thought, well, why not? I'll frame it. But that is a really cool thing that I won for the BBC, which is a lithograph. Yay! Everybody jumps to their feet. So let's see. What else can I show you? The exciting thing about this was, this album coming out, was you could also get it on vinyl. Oh my gosh, happy, happy, happy. This is the vinyl when it came out. The back. And it even had a gatefold. So we had a gatefold as well. Like I said, the pictures are back. And this is my... Uh, this is my American version. So this is this is my American one. And inside we got pictures. They didn't come with a booklet. That was the only bummer. I was kind of hoping for a nice big thick booklet. I'll go back to these pictures again. These are really cool, aren't they? But yeah, no booklet. But look at this. Isn't this cool? This was with the vinyl, and it came out with the Apple. I remember all my friends and I, we were all excited, because we were just like, oh my gosh, look at that. It's the Beatles Apple. They've released something on the Apple, which is brand new. We were all, we were all just excited the fact that the vinyl had the Apple on it. I mean, it was little simple, little simple crazy stuff like that that kind of made things fun. It really did. Then this is the next record. Got that right? No, I don't. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
there we go. But yeah, like I said, it had pictures in here. Erickson on the, the, the second record. I won't get it out, but you get the gist. I had it set up wrong. All right, we'll set that down. Then next up, it's got a little bit of a shine, as you can see, but this is my UK copy. And I bought this one as well back in 94 when it came out. So this is still the legit one. I know they've released re-released this in 90 or the 94 edition. They've re-released this on 180 gram. I'm getting a bad glare. I know they've re-released it, but I I just I'm still happy with my originals. Let me go for the same pictures. Same backing. Um, I'll just show you quick, quick of the vinyl. Vinyl's just a little bit different on that. The apple. So happy. I was just so, yeah. Like I said, simple stuff. Isn't that crazy that I would be so excited about, um, the fact that it was on Apple. But I was. I was excited about that. I just, I just thought that was really cool. Keep talking about it. I know, I'm talking about too much. My record. And then much later on, this book came out. This was kind of a reach, but it's the Beatles BBC. And this was a fantastic book. If you don't have this, this has a lot of everything about the Beatles. Open it up. This is what the inside looked like of the book. This is a terrific book. I won't show you too many pictures because this is this is a very thick book. But this book was absolutely fantastic in showing all the BBC stuff that they did and early stuff. Um, I love that picture. That's just great. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm kind of reaching, I know, because I'm doing this, so BBC. And I know there's a lot of other stuff in here besides just the BBC, but there's basically this, which is, that's a great picture, isn't it? Another good picture. Let's see if we're going to line it up. There we go. This is a very thick book. Very thick. Very nicely done. I just enjoy it. There's video stuff out of this of BBC, which was terrific. Um, I could show a lot more of that. But anyway, pick that up if you're out and about and you want to find a good Beatley book. That's a great one. Let's see, and I have a few other things that came with it. This is the paperwork, paperwork to it. And then you got all these original, like BBC script things that were written out for BBC. Um, just a lot of. A lot of cool paperwork with it. More paperwork. And this all kind of came in like a folder. So you kind of got original drawings and paperwork and stuff like that as well with this. Seeing it kind of came in a original folder kind of looking, kind of beagly looking. All right, Vinyl Community. Comes with a picture, glossy picture of the lads. I think I'm going to end there, talking about the Beatles at the BBC. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. I want to say hi to my new subscribers. Hello, new subscribers. And those of you that are still part of me and uh, part of my uh, trip through all that I'm doing, 
to my old subscribers. I want to say hi to you guys. Thank you so much for hanging in there with me. My new subscribers, checks in the mail. <laughs> Beetle Brad sends out checks all the time. <laughs> yeah, right. So, but anyway, I want to say thank you to each and every one of you. Subscribe to my channel down below. Let me know what you thought of Beatles at the BBC. Have you pulled out your BBC album lately or CD and listened to it? As I got the poster behind me, this was a lot of fun to do. I hope you all enjoyed it. So here we go. We're going to end with the Beatles and the BBC. Take care, vinyl community. See you later. Take care.